What I would do first is normally we would start solving these sides here. I'm going to make sure this middle row is where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I got to get this yellow to here. So I'm going to double flip it there. So bear in mind that these have been flipped. So I'm just going to coordinate it back here, put it down here. And this middle is solved and where it needs to be. Let's make sure we still have maintained our cross, and we have. So now it's pretty straightforward. Using the same algorithms that, that I assume you already know, we need to get the orange and green. So let's find the orange and green one here. Uh, here it is, and this will flip nicely to here, orange to here, green to here. All right, that flipped that there. Created a little bit of a parity issue there, but we don't worry about that. But we will use that as our axis of rotation. Now we need the yellow and orange. So find the yellow and orange here. So make quick, quick workings of this. And bingo, move that in place. Oh, we still have this over here. So we need the red and orange. I'm sorry, red and yellow. And there it is, red, yellow. Again, nothing new under the sun. Okay, so there we have the bottom cross is pretty much solved. This parity will work its way out. We then solve for this top, top layer over here. We want that sandwich formation where we have two of the same colors here, one here, so that we can do middle switches. When you see it just in one, it's either going to be one or none, put it at the side, and then we can move this corner here to get it in that position. But now instead of moving from the middle, we do it just the way you know, like from the three by three by four. To R, U, to R, U prime, to R, U prime, D. Actually, sorry, these both have to turn. All right, and that, uh... forgive me, I messed it up and I had to get it back. The more astute of you out there probably picked it up, but what can I say? I'm an old guy, my mind is being lost, but anyway, we'll try it again. And this... All right, so here we have the sandwich, um, um, the uh, sandwich formation. I'm gonna try to flip these corners here. And turn, turn. And there we have what we're looking for. So now we just do a bunch of corner flippings to get all this back into place. So I'll flip these two to solve it. And it helped fix that parity over there. And now we're gonna solve these two. And there, so we still have our cross here. Things are going well, we're gonna fix this later. I got a little bit of a parity situation here. We can either fix it now or we can fix it later. I'm actually gonna fix it later. So now we solve the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna look for the orange and the yellow and fill that in. Here's the orange and the yellow, flip it from the top. So that's good. Now we're looking for the red and the yellow. Flip these. Okay, now the green and the red. And that should take us what we need. All right. Um, maybe I should fix this parity issue now. So I think I'll do that. You do it exactly the same way that uh, you've learned from the 3 by 3 by 5 So... Um, it's the same algorithm here. To U R F U U U to F to R to U and magically it's right where it needs to be. Now we do the same thing with the top layer here. We have a nice sandwich formation here. So we do a corner switch to switch 
this guy with this guy. Turn, turn. And turn. All right, so we have yet just to solve this and this, right? We can solve it as a parity issue too. You can do it as a parity, or you can do just the corner switch. Uh, well, in this situation, it probably would be best to do it as a parity, because if we do a corner switch, I'm gonna create parity over here. So we'll just do it that way. So you got the two here, two here. I'm gonna hold it like this and solve it with that same parity, only using the top here. So that's two U, two R, two F, two U, U, F, R, U, and it's solved. Now, there is a potential parity situation that I'm gonna talk about that I happen to not get into. Okay, we're gonna talk about what happens in a specific kind of a parity situation here. So let's say you're all ready to be done, everything is looking good, everything is looking like where it's supposed to be, and we just have to flip these two. So we're just gonna do these um, center flip algorithm, where we do our to our U, to our U, to our two U, to our two U, to R, U, to R, U, I, U, and you think you're done, but oh, we have this situation here, here and here. Um, I've seen a lot of different types of parodies that can happen where you just have one here and these are the right color or it's over in the middle here. All of those are just kind of variations of trying to scramble with this by using familiar algorithms, but it doesn't quite make sense. So if you followed this procedure that I did, it's going to end up either solved or it's going to end up with this particular parity. And previous algorithms didn't quite work um, because if you try to do the, uh, um, the, the, the 2UU, 2R, 2F um, that you did with a similar type of situation, you're going to just end up with it over here and here backwards. So then you, you know, this will be fixed, but these will be wrong. So, so here's how I do it. What you want to do is kind of break out of this situation by holding it like this and doing a slight modification to the uh, algorithm that we did with the 3 by 3 by 5 3 by 3 by 7 to try to flip all this back. And that's going to be going, starting off the same way, 2UU. Um, we'll actually do that. We'll, we'll just go ahead and do that regular algorithm that, that, that you would normally do. So we'll go 2UU, 2R, 2F, then you do 2UU, 2U, just at the top, and then 2F, R, and U. And you think you've got it solved, but uh-oh, uh we have this. So we've got this in the middle here. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, this is easy. You really do the same algorithm with a slight modification. Instead of doing the U, U, and then U in the middle of it, you just do one U and move on. So what do I mean by that? Um, so we start off exactly the same way. So we go two U, U, two R, oops, <laughs> two R, 2F, and then we just do 2UU, and that's it. We don't do this one, and then you finish it off with um, 2F, 2R, and 2U. And then you finish it off um, with just going another 2F to just kind of bring this back, 2F. So you think maybe we got something, but oh, not quite. This is a slightly different kind of a parity. What I did is I flipped it from here to here, which makes it much easier to deal with. Now, this looks like exactly like the parity that we dealt with, with the uh, three by three by um, four or five 
six and seven. And now we finish it up with the same um, algorithm that we started off with using the U, U, and the U. So that's gonna look like two U, U, two R, and by R I mean at the very end, R, two F, and then two U, U, two U, U, and two F, to R and to U, and lo and behold, it works. So you manage to get out of that that situation. So really, solving this is pretty much exactly like what you've done before with some slight modifications to get your centers. Centers on the bottom are easy. The centers on the top is just using splitting down the middle to do um, and applying your corner flipping, doing it the same way, and then getting out of that last bit of parity. So that's it.